Hi guys, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video because this is something that has been requested for a very long time. Today I am going to try almost a full face of Miss Claire Cosmetics. Now this entire box was sent to me by Miss Claire. As you can see, there are a ton of products and all of this is makeup apart from this. So I am super excited to give you guys a full first impressions, put these products to a test and we are going to see what the hype is about. So yeah, let's get started. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just got a lot of makeup in my PR a while ago and I thought that now that we have all the so let's just do a full face. Okay, so I did not receive any base products from them. So I'm going to use my base to be as fair to the products as possible. These are the two products that I swear by and I have been obsessed with currently. This is the Dior Backstage Foundation. I've talked about this at length before. This is the MAC 24 Hour Concealer. I've talked about this as length before as well so i'm gonna put these on before we move on to the base which i'm gonna do off camera we are going to start with the primer so i already have my moisturizer in and now we're just going to okay the this is a moisturizing primer it sort of looks like a cream to me i'm just gonna use my hands it has a weird smell and if you can see this is how it looks right so when you just like rub it in your hands it kind of melts very quickly so that i think is interesting because it kind of will seep into your skin really really quick uh jaldi so i'm gonna need like a few pumps Okay, this applicator for some reason stopped working. Maybe that's my cue to not put too much. Okay, the primer so far has completely gone into my skin really, really quickly. And it does feel like, um, it does feel nice. It makes my skin feel very plump. It's not like, it's not drying my skin out in a way that it feels very stretchy. So I'm quickly going to do my base off camera and then come back. Okay, so my base is on and we are all zoomed in now. We are now going to start with the whole process. I want to start with my face and then I want to end it with my eyes. So let's go ahead and do our contouring with this shade, right? So I'm going to use this small angular brush, which I use generally to contour my face. I'm just going to dip it in and now if you can see, there's a lot of kickback. There is a lot of uh, powder on the side. There is a lot of kickback, but you know what? It kind of looks nice. I might have put a bit too much. So I'm going to quickly just, okay, I can move, see myself in the viewfinder as well. I just realized. Okay. So I think this is actually a very nice, like appropriate color for my skin tone for contour. And I've been looking for a really good color. I showed you guys the cream contour in my last video, which was the haul in case you missed it. Um, but this is a really interesting um, color for me. The only regret I have is taking too much. Also, you know what? I did get my new mic, but unfortunately, I don't know how to use it right now because um, you have to use it like with the software when you're editing and I didn't know how to use it on like the edit. So I'm still using the mic that I already have and it's a pretty good mic. It's actually a shotgun mic. It's quite nice. It's just that I don't know for what reason it doesn't work well with my camera because the audio is always very sketchy. Uh, hopefully audio today should be fine. I've made a few arrangements here and there, but uh, I'm going to try and keep the audio as clean as possible. So. Okay, now that we've contoured our face, we are going to move to our nose. And for my nose, I like to use a different brush because I think it just needs to be a lot more precise. And this is the part that I like to contour the most. I do go with my contour like fully down, but because um, I don't have a very sharp nose, I like to intensify this area sabse pehle. And I join it with my brows so it doesn't look like I've just drawn two lines on my nose. It blends everything out. And again, I know it looks a little rough right now, but trust the process, everything's gonna blend together and everything's gonna look nice. So I want to take this beautiful plum sort of a shade and let's just go with this one. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I expected it to be a little, little um, 
dark for me which it is but i jaan bujh ke took very less product and on this bada brush because it will just buff it out really well on the skin so it's kind of doing that the one thing that i am like kind of struggling with is the contour the first द फर्स्ट प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द कॉन्टोर जो मैंने सबसे पहले प्रोडक्ट लगाया था वहाँ वो इतना डीपली लग गया है कि इट वॉज डिफिकल्ट टू जस्ट फुल्ली ब्लेंडेड आउट फ्रॉम दैट आई हैड टू एड मोर प्रोडक्ट नीचे जस्ट टू ब्लेंडेड आउट फुल्ली इट डज लाइक ब्लेंड इट डज वर्क ईजिली बट यू हैव टू लाइक वर्क इट इन थोड़ा थोड़ा यू हैव टू लाइक रियली गो इन टू इट टू ब्लेंड इट सो जस्ट समथिंग टू कीप इन माइंड बट अगेन सो फार सो गुड एंड ऑनेस्टली पता क्या होता है ऑन द कैमरा यू डोंट रियली सी इट एज मच लाइक इफ यू आर doing a makeup with lots of lights like i have a lot of studio lights right now so i always have to put on a little more than i would usually put just so you can see it on the camera like but like in person it's really really intense at the moment let's go do our brows i am using this pencil i haven't used a pencil pencil in a while i've just switched to like my cream brow product but this is really smooth i'm going to do one brow on camera and show you guys kya difference hai and then i'm going to do one off camera what a spoolie will do for you is it's going to blend out your pencils because pen pencils are like they are right there like the pigment is there and it's very difficult to blend it and make it look very you know natural instead of it just looking like a basic pencil stroke and this one is definitely really like pigmented so it's going to be a little difficult to navigate this product on its own like just with this you know um i have a spoolie right so this is from the lacmeca micro brow pencil this is the lacmeca micro brow pencil i'm going to quickly just use this spoolie from this you see we have a little bit of like a spillage over here that's okay i'm just going to remove this with concealer I'll clean my brow out. It's really dark and the pigment is very solid so it's going to be very difficult to blend and move the product and that can be very tricky especially when you're doing brows because you obviously want them to look as natural as possible. You don't want them to look like, you know, a tattoo that has been stamped on your forehead. Uh so you have to be careful about that and that's why I'm very particular about my brow pencils or any brow products that I use. Like right now I've used it with the brush and the spoolie so I'm going to have to clear out everything. I'm just going to show you how i do that so now that i have sort of have the brow i like i don't like the brow too much because i just think that the products a little uncomfortable to work with i think for someone with really bushy brows this would work really well i on the other hand i'm not a part of that community unfortunately so you have to be even more careful when you're doing your brows and this one is just not doing it for me Okay, I'm going to do this one off camera and I'll be back. All right, I am back with the other brow and I have to say that I am not a very big fan of the eyebrow pencil. It was just very difficult to blend and it has messed up like my uh, forehead contour because it just went all over on my forehead. It was difficult to clean up with the concealer even though I did show you guys how I did it, but it's just it's kind of <sighs> it is sort of like spreading everywhere and i'm not liking it and it has kind of also ruined my base quite a bit so i am not the most pleased with this product i'm not even going to attempt looking at the black one the brown one the color is fine the color works it works very well it's just that this this pencil and this thing doesn't work together it's too dark it's just it's too much for brows <laughs> i'm feeling so overwhelmed with this okay now we're going to move on to the eye shadow palette which by the way looks very promising i'm going to use my regular brushes i'm not going to even bother using the brush on the palette i did swatch like everything before and i just want to show you guys how it works directly on the eyes so we're going to go ahead with this super light brown and i don't want to do a very heavy sort of a look i want to do something very simple just going to blend this on my crease again so far so good it blends out really really well i have been able to build this brown up as well as you can see and i'm liking it i'm using this uh, fluffy brush and it's it's working quite well actually i like it i i i i actually do like it i'm shade on a smaller brush and basically just applying it under my waterline
Okay, so this brown is definitely a lot more difficult to apply. It just, I have taken a lot of product and it's still not giving me as much pigment as I would like. And it's very weird because it's performing differently than the light brown that I've used. And one eyeshadow palette should not do that. Like all of your shades should work in a similar fashion. If they're mattes and if they're shimmers, like they should work ek jaisa. And this somehow is like... Um, you know how a plastic wala makeup aata tha na bahut chote mein jab hum ekdam bachpan mein hum khelte the makeup ke sath so it didn't really have any pigment it just feel like you'll keep scratching the surface and you barely get anything that's kind of what the brown felt like to me like right now i can see that it's on my eye because i've applied just a lot and i'm using a flat brush that too like it won't disperse a lot of product as it will just pack it in abhi same jo brush se maine brown lagaya hai i'm just going to Add it right outside of my waterline just to intensify everything and we're not going to bring it fully in I just want to intensify and then I'll join it with her say outer corner say I'll just kind of try to mix it in so it doesn't look like these are two different eye looks going on okay so now we have like a really nice sort of a smoky brown going on our eye I know I said I'll do a soft look, but this is the softest it gets, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this same fluffy brush and I'm gonna now go ahead with a nice shimmery shade. So I'm in the mood, I actually was in the mood for bronze, but I also want to enhance my eyes. So I think we're gonna go ahead with this champagne purple sort of a glitter. I just feel like I, I, I food it on my table only. Okay, the glitter is applying nicely actually. You just have to be a little patient with this product, but it's applying really nicely. If you pick it up with a flat brush and you pack it in, I think it'll do an even better job. I Jan Buchke chose like a bigger, fluffier brush because I wanted the product to be very, very halka, just to give it some space, like just to give the illusion of space on the lid and also just to really nicely disperse the product throughout the eye. So yo is this the best that i have used no unfortunately i have used much better eyeshadow palettes that are priced at a lower price range and not as low as this but at a lower price range comparatively and this is good for someone who's just starting with makeup they just want to experiment they don't want to spend a lot of money this could be a great starting point and eventually you will have to get to better palettes because no matter how good your technique is if the product is not up to par it's not going to perform as well it's not going to look the way you want it to look and also this is also really great for someone who's going to college or office who does not want their makeup to be very um, you know strong very loud they want a very simple easy go to palette i think this palette in particular should just do the job it's your perfect accurate nude palette i just have one problem it doesn't have a black shade and i think having a black eyeshadow shade in your um, palette is always a good option for a smoky eye for just a kajal with eyeshadow that's really nice it looks very soft uh, especially compared to just a kajal or eyeliner but overall it's a really good palette so you can definitely consider getting this i am done with my eye look i just want to do mascara and liner so we're going to start with the liner first and then uh, finish it off with mascara this is the interesting part i am very picky about eyeliners i only use like a couple of eyeliners that i like and i've recently just stuck to one i have um, started trying out the l'oreal liner that i showed you guys in the last video so that video is also coming i wanted to do this first and share it with you guys again i want this to be a very simple light look so i'm not gonna go with a full crazy ass liner I'm, i want to do a very simple Sorry, I have to focus. I'm going to do a very simple halka sa liner. We'll see actually about that. Because you start by saying you want a halka liner and then you end up with panda eyes and that's literally the story of all of our lives. But I just want to do the tips actually today. So it's fine. The fact that my makeup is so uneven and a little harsh looking today, especially like to me on in the mirror, it's really bothering me. But it's just how these products are. I've been trying to do it as aram se and blend it as much as i possibly could i'm gonna do the liner in my inner corner as well just a little 
tip. I'm facing a little bit of a problem with the liner because it's really thick and uh, it dries up really quick. So, yahan kar rahi thi and then yahan karte karte sugya. It's not even. It's bothering me, but we're going to power through. So this liner dries really quick. I tried to be as quick as possible, but I wanted to also be precise. So for that, it's a little annoying because जब वो dry होता है तो जो आपका already लगा हुआ liner है, sometimes it'll just flake that off as well, which is pisses me off. Anyway, we are now going to move on to the mascara. I'm not curling my lashes. I just want to see how it is. So right now you can't really see my lashes. They're very flat and very patla and small, but I can see the mascara coating my lashes. However, it feels a little dry already, and I literally opened this in front of you. Like I haven't even opened the product before. Let's give it a good shake. Okay, hopefully, abhi this should work. Hmm. I mean, yes, it is coating my lashes, but it's very thick and dry. Like I can, I can already tell that it's very thick and dry. So I don't know if it's just my bottle or what. It's also kafi jaldi jaldi clumping my lashes, which is not always a bad thing. But oh, it's not my favorite thing ever. So these are my lashes after two to three coats, and you can see the difference. Definitely elongated my lashes. It has definitely elongated my lashes, but it's just too thick and dry, and it's. Clumpy as well, so my lashes are long, but they're not as voluminous as I would like them to be. And compared to this, I have the Bad Girl Bang mascara from Benefit, which I obviously know is at a much higher price range. But that mascara makes my lashes fuller and longer. I'm also very excited to try the Huda mascara as well, but this one is just disappointing. I don't know, like. Imagine I can feel it on my lashes. Ki ye thoda dry and thick hai. I can feel it on my lashes, not even on my skin. So I am not liking this product. I think after the brow product, this is the one that I dislike the most out of the whole range. I still like it better than the brow pencil, but this is definitely number two on my list and number three would probably be this eyeliner because it's so dry and uneven and difficult to correct i'm kind of pissed about that too <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead with one more coat because i need it ye abhi top lashes pe aise ho raha hai lower lashes pe kya hoga very worried okay surprisingly Working well on my lower lashes. That's nice. एक तो मेरी lashes अलग अलग है दोनों की आँखों की brows अलग हैं lashes अलग हैं lids अलग हैं तो मतलब product भी कितना ही करेगा But honestly, I'm trying my level best to like the mascara. I just Don't it's weird. It's thick. It's dry. It's clumpy. <sighs> Patience. That is the final eye look. I want to go ahead and add some highlighter, and then we're going to test out lipsticks. I'm going to swatch all the lipsticks today because just in the mood. <laughs> so quickly, I'm going to use this brush, and I'm going to dip into the highlighter shade from the palette. Doesn't feel like it's picking up any product. We'll see. Okay, I was wrong about that. You can't see it on the brush, but it's quite intense over here. I'm gonna try and blend this. Yeah, see, this is the problem with these products. Ye, me ko shuru me contour was looking easy to blend, but now I can see like it's harsh, and so is the highlighter. Like right now. I'm only using whatever's on my brush, and it's I've picked up a lot of product, which is my fault, which is okay. But it's it's just it's once the pigment is like on your face, it's just in one place, and I don't know if I'm not blending it right today, but it should have 
blend it by now i'm gonna try and tone this down with a clean sponge a clean halka sa very lightly damp sponge and i'm gonna reduce the intensity but in general i'm just like it's impressive and it's also not impressive because it does like some really annoying things and i'm like finding it annoying basically <laughs> so much powder in my nose okay last step this is the shade 20 anti crow which is the brown that i was talking about it has a really strong smell but it looks so beautiful i really like it it glided on beautifully very light and it looks very pretty okay next up i'm going to try this one which is the beautiful fuchsia pink lip okay as you can see this is a beautiful color again but this has a really bad smell and it feels weird like on my lips for some reason i have this a little bit of a burning tingling sensation and i don't know if it's because of this product but the smell in this one is fully unbearable it has that very uh, weird chemically smell jo aapko bahut aise nakli wale makeup pe nahi milta hai waisa smell i don't know why it's it's very beautiful like it was very smooth to apply very halka it set like fully matte and it kind of worked like the nika uh matte lipsticks the liquid matte lipsticks that they have it starts off very halka you can let it up and then it dries into a very beautiful matte which it has right now doesn't transfer much at all as well it's beautiful it just smells really bad and i don't know why these lipsticks smell bad okay again the color is beautiful the smell is horrendous like this one doesn't feel weird on my lips it's actually really soft and i think it also dries it's a soft matte lip cream so it's not supposed to be um a matte formulation i really like the way it feels on my lips i really like the color this one does not have as strong a smell as this one this one though definitely i can't like where with the smell maybe the smell will go after a while but it just this was a lot this one had a weird smell but now it's gone so i don't mind it at all and i really like the color the colors are beautiful the colors are absolutely gorgeous okay another beautiful color good formulation this one does not have that weird smell that the previous one had which is weird but um i really like it it's sitting really nicely and it's kind of it's creamy but it's also matte it's somewhere in the middle which i really like in a lipstick because it's not like pulling at my lips and i really like it Okay so this one is the cheapest lipstick in the lot beautiful color like every other lipstick that I've tried abhi that glided on very easily this one I'm having a little trouble with you know maybe just work it in your hand first thoda sa smooth karne ke liye and then apply it and then it should work just fine as i said another beautiful color i think these colors are all so versatile they are going to suit a lot of different skin tones and they're also going to look really beautiful with a lot of looks now i have done a very neutral simple look but it would look really nice with super colorful crazy out of the box looks crazy out of the box looks as well so pretty it final lipstick i was saving the red because red is difficult to remove i started with like the lighter colors so creamy i love this and there it is it definitely requires a couple of coats to give you the full pigment but look at how beautiful this looks it's a very nice deep cherry red it's not very chatak so this would also work with a lot of skin tone and it was the easiest to apply out of the entire lot and it also does not have a smell with that we have the completed look i would to recommend products that i think that you should buy or you can buy from this range i would suggest this palette um only 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 if you really want to experiment with it or if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you just want to start practicing with makeup then you go ahead with this palette otherwise there are a lot of blush and contour options out there that you can choose from that are going to work way better than this one uh, let me know if you want like a list of blushes that i really love and trust me blush is something jo bahut lamba chalta hai so even if you spend a little more money on a blush you don't have to worry because it's going to last you a really really long time the other things that i would suggest are definitely the lipsticks i wouldn't suggest this lipstick because just the smell i i didn't enjoy it but 
this creamy lipstick this babe is beautiful like i'm already obsessed i janbooch ke save the red for the last uh, for this look just this lipstick i would also suggest trying this one out the soft lip cream it's really nice smell aati hai kuch seconds ke liye then it'll go away so i like it and what else do i like again both the colors i like i liked this one also this one is a little difficult to apply so make sure you warm it up in your um in the back of your hand and then apply it this one was a little difficult so the choice is yours this you can just aankh band karke buy these are like really beautiful formulations what else did i like i think i like the primer it did um I don't know I think I'm going to need to try this a little bit more but I think this was an interesting product to say the least it's not as moisturizing but again it's a primer it's not really a moisturizer so you can't really complain about that what do I like apart from this oh okay I would suggest I would recommend buying this eyeshadow palette you can definitely get started on your makeup journey with this or if you're on a budget you can definitely try this out I'm pretty sure um there will be more options to choose from in eyeshadows but this is a interesting palette to start from what i don't recommend is the mascara i do not i did not enjoy the liner as much maybe you can work with this but it's a if you product for me this definitely is a no for me what else i did not like oh i did not did not like you can still sense my issue with this i did not like these brow pencils i would use them as kajal and everything but i'm not going to use these as brow pencils these are too dark too difficult to work with and this thing does absolutely nothing so this is the first time that i did a first impressions of all products from just one brand and let me know if you would like to see more please make sure that you subscribe and like this video if you like this video and also comment on it about what products you like what you didn't and is there anything else that you like me to try is there any other brand that you would like me to do a full face off i am so excited to bring you so 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 many videos i hope you're doing well i hope you're keeping safe i hope you're staying indoors and self quarantining if you're not in lockdown already and and i just i'm going to see you in the next video bye